Hello everybody, welcome back to your Python tutorial series. Hopefully you're learning a whole lot of cool things. In this video we're actually going to be talking about something completely new. Uh, we're going to be talking about defining our own functions. So what is a function? Here, let me write that out so you can see it. If I can even spell it, which I can't. Function, that's spelled correctly by the way. A function is basically a big block of code that we're going to reuse throughout our program. Rather than having to retype it and then retyping it again and then retyping it and then retyping it, we can just create the function and then we can call that function when we need that big block of code so we don't have to retype the whole thing. Now you might not know how, how that works practically, so let's just do it and we'll see kind of how it works. So in order to define our own function, we use the keyword def because we're defining a function. Then we give it a name. So let's just say, let's just say, we'll name it five, just because you'll see why in a second. And then what we do is we say, we put these little um, parentheses and put a colon. So just like in an if statement or a while loop, when we, when we create it, we have to put the colon to um, prepare us for the next block of code. But for now, let's just stay here. What we're going to do is within this parentheses, we have to use what's known as a parameter, which is a temporary variable. It holds values that are given when we define, uh, when we um, call the function later in our program. So right now we're defining the function, and we have to give it these variables. So let's just call the variable uh, num for number. I'm just make it num, it sounds better. All right, so now we can do the next part of our function which is called the body what actually happens in this function and we'll just make it simple we'll just print like always and what we're going to do is we're just going to print num plus five okay so we just defined a function so the three main parts are the name the parameters and then everything that it does is known as the body oops I didn't mean to put that period here yeah. I don't know if that works. So, all right. Gosh. There we go. So now we have a function called five, and it takes one variable. And whatever that, whatever that value we give it is, it takes it and it adds five to it. So let's try it out. In order to call it, all we have to do is we just type the name, and within parentheses, we give it a value, such as five. And you see, it took five, added five to it, and gave us 10. So it actually just repeated this this much code for us. And I know it's kind of silly because it's such a small amount of code, it's kind of unnecessary. It'd be easier just to go 5 plus 5, but you can make things more complex. So let's try it again with a string. So let's let's create a new function. We'll say def and we'll just say copy. Okay? And then we'll give uh the oopsies we'll finish structuring this and within here we can have another variable we don't have to use quotes or anything because variables do not have quotes values have quotes so for here we can just say yo it doesn't really matter to be honest as long as you can remember it I mean when you're actually programming you should give it a descriptive value but for this it's completely fine so now what we can do is we can print uh, we can print, and then we can print the value yo times 50. So it's going to print whatever we give it 50 times. So let's try it. Copy. And we're going to print Roger Dat. And you can see it printed it 50 times. And it looks kind of like Dat Roger, but that's because it goes Roger Dat. And then there's no space and it repeats so that's that's an example of another function now let's try to make it a bit more practical let's try to let's create another one here uh, we'll go def we'll call it concat alright what concatenation is in programming is it takes multiple words and adds them together so let's let's make it concat for names so we take a first name and we take a last name okay give it a colon and now from here we could say print and we say first name 
plus last name. Sorry, I didn't mean to put a, a comma there. So basically, when we define the parameters, we separate them with commas. And we learned previously, and when we talked about printing, um, we can print multiple things using a plus. So we're printing the first name, and then we're uh, putting onto that the last name. So let's try this out. And we'll have to quote these because they're string values. And it printed them both together. Now, let's uh, improve this and make it put a space right here. So let's just take this back down. I'm sorry, not this. Let's take the actual definition down here. And what we're going to do is we're going to print a space within quotes and then put another plus. So now it's going to take the first name, add to that a space, and then it's going to add to that a last name. So let's try it out. And you can see it, concaten it concatenated those names to where it took one uh, value and another value and put them together with a space. Now let's try something even cooler. Let's create variables. Let's go um, first, and we'll give it the value Caleb. Last, we'll give it the value Curry. Okay, and now when we use the same concat, instead of using these values, we can use variables. So we could say first, last. And it will generate the name with a space between them. So that's just another cool thing we can do. Uh, let's create one uh, final function. Let's make this one a little more complex. What I want it to do is I want it to take a number and increase it by a certain percentage. And let's say we can, we can define both the number and the percentage we want to increase it by. So let's, let's define it first. And we're just going to name it percent. And it's going to take two variables, x and y. That'll work fine. Now for this, what we need to do is we need to print, and within here, it can get a little complicated, but basically we print x, which is the number we start out with, but we want to multiply that by a percentage. So if we put, let's say, 10 for the x, that's the number we start with, and we want to multiply that by 20%, well how can we turn the number 20 into a number we can multiply by to make a percent. Well, we can first divide it by 100 to bring it down to 0.20, and then we can add 1 to it to make it 1.20. Then, when we take 10 times 1.20, we get basically 10 plus 20 percent. And if you are not good at math, just ignore that and follow along. <laughs> All right, so what we need to do is we need to take x times y divided by 100 plus 1. But please remember the order of operations. The order in which these are going to basically uh, be executed. If we did it now, it would do these ones first, and then it would do the division, and then it would do the addition. We don't want it that way. We want it this way. So first, we're going to um, box the complete y side and then we're going to box the division first. So when it, when a uh, python goes through this, it starts on the inside and works its way out. So first it divides y by 100, then it adds 1 to it, and then it multiplies that value by x. Let's try this out. So we want we want uh to find a percent of 10. And then the percent we want it to increase by is, let's say, 10, okay? And it gives us 11, which is correct. We can also try different numbers. So we could say 10, and we want to multiply that by 100%. It should give us 20. So that's an awesome way. Basically, we just created a, we could essentially be a tip calculator. If you go to a store and you, I mean, if you go to a restaurant and it char they charge you 40 bucks, okay? and you want to be generous and you want to give them 25 percent well it's going to tell you oh you need to pay fifty dollars 
and I know you can do that very easily with a calculator, but once you get into bigger functions, you're not going to have to repeat all this garbage over and over again, and like it can go on for lines and lines. You can just call the function, and it will give us back a result. So let's say we had some kind of algorithm to figure out a, um, like let's say y was some kind of algorithm to figure out a new number. Like let's say you're playing a game, right? And if you, if you uh, received a certain level, you got a you got bonus points. And the bonus points weren't necessarily 10% or 20%, but it was like, oh, your current level times 10% plus 50 uh, minus your health point loss and so forth. Well, all of that can be created within a function. And then when you get this bonus point, you could just be like bonus points and then call it boom done you're done so uh, that's that's pretty much the introduction to creating functions hopefully that was helpful uh, please guys leave a comment and tell me if I explain that absolutely horribly because this is a um, kind of new teaching for me because I usually talk about using functions rather than defining functions so if that was if I completely slaughtered that let me know and uh, if you actually learned something please let me know guys Thank you for sticking through, and I will see you guys in the next video. Be sure to subscribe.